guys, welcome back to my channel and another episode of Crochet with Grey. Today I'm going to show you how to make this crochet daisy crop top. For this project, I used sugar and cream weight four yarn in white, yellow, and sage green. You're also going to need a pair of scissors, a 5mm crochet hook, and a sewing needle. To get started on this project, uh, we're going to just be making a slip knot and then I'm going to be chaining a chain that's long enough to wrap around my entire body. So for me, that is a chain of 90. So here's my chain of 90 completed. From here, I'm going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook, and I'm gonna be placing one single crochet down the entire length of the chain. So for this top, this section is going to be entirely made up of single crochets. So the pattern will consist of single crocheting it down the row of 90, turning, chaining one, and single crocheting. And I'll repeat this pattern for 30 rows. So depending on the length you want for this top will depend on the number of rows that you single crochet. Here is the body section of my top completed. This is uh, 30 rows in total, and it measures out to be eight inches long. Now we're gonna be turning our work like so, and single crocheting down the side of the top. There aren't clear stitches to single crochet in, so just stick your hook in and create one single crochet per row. To begin, I will chain one, which counts as my first single crochet, and I will continue single crocheting down. Here I have single crocheted 30 times down the side. Now I'll just secure my yarn with a slip stitch, and trim my yarn, and pull through. And then I'll just repeat the exact same thing on the other side. So once you've single crocheted down the length of both sides, we are going to attach them by slip stitch. So first you have to decide what side is your good side. So this will be the side that you want people to see when you're wearing it. And you need to make sure that you have your good side on the inside when you're attaching the ends together. So fold your work together with the bad side facing out and now we're going to be attaching the ends together by slip, sti slip stitching down the length of the top. Now that we've slip stitched all the way to the end, just trim your yarn, uh, pull through, and Turn your work right side out. So here you can see the seam from your slip stitch and this will be the back of your top. And this will be your front. Now I'm going to sew in all of the loose strands. So once you've sewn in all of the loose strands, we're going to make the straps. So to know where to place the straps, I'm just going to look at where the seam is on the back and then the stitch that matches directly up with that on the front side will be marked as my middle stitch. So personally, I'm not very bothered about it being the exact middle stitch, but if you are, feel free to count the stitches and make sure everything is even on both sides. So now I'm going to mark the middle stitch by pulling a different colored piece of yarn through the stitch and tying a knot. I find that this is the easiest way to mark a stitch. So now I'm going to attach the straps. I'm going to attach them 11 stitches away from the middle. And for the straps, I will be using the sage green color as a strap will be like a stem for the daisies. So to attach the straps, we're going to be making a slip knot and just slip stitching into the 11th stitch from the middle. And then we're going to chain 40. So 
So once you've made a chain of 40, I'm going to attach the strap to the back and I'm just going to be slip stitching into the 10th stitch from the seam. And it's really important to make sure that your strap is not tangled. So from here, I'm going to try on my top uh, to make sure that the strap is the right length and it looks right on my body. So I would highly recommend trying on your work at this point too. So now I'm going to single crochet into the same stitch that I slip stitched into and then I'm going to single crochet into the stitch from the left. Then I'm going to chain one, turn my work and begin single crocheting all the way up the strap. So now that I single crocheted for the entire length of the strap, um, then I just placed a single crochet in the stitch left to the stitch that I originally slip stitched into. And then I slip stitched into the stitch that I just single crocheted in. And then I'm going to trim my yarn, pull through, and repeat the exact same thing on the other side. So here's my top with both straps completed. And now I'm going to show you how to make the daisies. Okay, so to get started on the daisy, we have to make a magic circle. And if you don't already know how to make one, I would highly recommend watching another YouTube tutorial on this. However, I will try my best to explain and show you clearly. So to make a magic circle, take your left hand and drape your yarn across your hand so that the tail end is at the bottom. Then you're gonna take the yarn that is coming from the ball and you're going to wrap the yarn around your middle finger and your pointer finger. And you want to wrap uh, the yarn around your top two fingers in a way that an X is formed. And you wanna make sure that you're holding the tail end of your yarn with your thumb and your ring finger. You're going to take the yarn that is coming from the ball and you're going to hold it between your ring finger and your pinky. And this is how the yarn should be looking on your hand. Now you're going to turn your hand over like so, and you're going to stick your hook under the string to the right, and you are going to hook the yarn to the left and pull through. You should have one loop on your hook. From here, you are going to stick your hook under the yarn that is between your ring finger and your middle finger and pull the yarn through the loop on your hook. And this creates the magic circle. You're going to chain five, and then you're going to slip stitch into the circle. So this creates um, the first petal in the daisy. Just a little side note when you are working in a magic circle, you want to make sure that you are um, placing all of your stitches um, on top of the two strands, so the strand that makes up the circle itself and the tail end strand. And then you're going to chain five again and slip stitch into the circle and that creates the second petal. And you're going to continue this pattern until you have a total of six petals. So now that you've got six petals in your circle, you're going to pull the tail end of your yarn and the daisy will just scrunch up and the center of the ring will become very small. And that is your little daisy. So now you're going to trim the yarn that's coming from the ball and you're going to pull this through and sew in the end. Now you wanna leave the original tail end unsewn so you can attach the daisy to the strap with it later on. So once you've sewn in that tail end, we are going to create the center of the daisy. So here I cut about a 30 inch piece of the yellow yarn and I'm going to be taking my sewing needle and threading the yarn through the needle. 
Now I'm going to be pulling that yellow yarn through the center of the daisy and I'm going to be pulling the yarn through the bottom. And I'm not going to be tying a knot through the yellow yarn, I'm just going to be holding it so the end doesn't pull through. So all I'm going to be doing is weaving the yarn through the petals, pulling tight, and then pulling the yarn back through the center. And I'm going to be doing this two times around, just because actual daisies kind of have like a big bright yellow center, so it, doing this twice will just make everything more vibrant and noticeable. Once you've um, weaved the yellow yarn through all of the petals, just tie a few knot, double knots at the back of the daisy to secure the yarn. So now I'm going to show you how to make the leaves. So taking the sage green color, you're going to make a slip knot and chain seven. and then you're going to chain an additional three. Now you're going to slip stitch into the third chain from the hook uh, to create a peacoat. peacoat, I don't know how to say it. Now you're going to wrap the yarn around your hook four times and you're going to create a triple treble crochet into the first chain that we created. Now you're going to uh, put the yarn over the hook three times and create a double treble crochet into the same chain and then a treble crochet Then a double crochet A single crochet and finally a slip stitch and this is all into the same chain and when you trim your yarn, you're just going to want to leave a long tail because you're also going to use this tail to attach it to the strap. Okay, so here's one of my straps completed. I ended up adding four daisies in total. So for the other strap, I'm not going to make it completely identical, but feel free if you want to. So now I'm going to show you how to attach the daisies to the leaves and then onto the straps. So if I was just to attach the daisy on its own to the strap, I would knot the two yellow strands a few times and then cut them short and just attach the daisy to the strap with the one white strand. However, when attaching the daisy to the leaf, just leave the yellow strands attached. So I'm going to attach the daisy to the leaf through this hole and I'm going to thread uh, one yellow strand through the hole and then pulling it tight and then I'm going to be tying a bunch of knots with the two yellow strands. So once I've made a decent amount of knots, I'm going to trim the ends of the yellow strands really short. Next, I'm going to weave in the shortest green strand into the leaf. Once I've weaved in the strand a decent amount of times, I'm going to trim the yarn, and now you should just have one green and one white strand left, and the daisy should be attached to the leaf. So I'm just going to further secure the daisy by weaving in the white strand into the leaf. So to attach the daisy and the leaf to the strap, I'll mainly be using the green strand. So with the green strand weaved through my sewing needle, I'm going to stick the needle directly through the strap and I'm going to pull really tight. And then I'm going to turn my work so I'm working with the inside of the strap and the back of my daisy. So here I'm going to weave my needle through the strap and then back through the leaf. And I'm going to attach the leaf to the strap at a few different places and I'm going to make sure that I like the placement of it.
Then I'm going to finish securing the green strand by weaving uh, the strand like further up the strap. I'm also going to weave the white strand up the strap a few times as well just to make sure nothing's going to fall off. So once the daisy feels secured and I've done a bunch of weaving, I'm just going to trim my yarn. So basically just continue this process until you're happy with the amount of daisies on your strap. So here's my completed top. I ended up adding one more daisy onto this strap because I thought the leaf on its own looked really awkward when I tried it on. So I ended up putting five daisies on this strap and four on this one. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you have a good time making it. Thanks for watching.